Hey there my friends, my name is Governor Gus and I want to thank you for checking out this video. I want to also thank you for listening and for watching this chapter of the day from the scriptures. Now I pray that this message is going to be a blessing to you, um, to your family as well and that you feel encouraged. But also reach out to me on Facebook, um, I'm going to put my links in the description below um, so that we can connect um, and also help and encourage one another. So I pray that today's message is a blessing to you. And um, I look forward to connecting with you even more. And may God continue to bless you. Bye for now. Nehemiah 7 Now when the wall had been built and I had set up the doors and the gatekeepers, the singers and the Levites had been appointed, I gave my brother Henani and Hananiah, the governor of the castle, charge over Jerusalem, for he was a more faithful and God-fearing man than many. And I said to them, Let not the gates of Jerusalem be opened until the sun is hot. And while they are still standing guard, let them shut and bar the doors. Appoint guards from among the inhabitants of Jerusalem, some at their guard posts and some in front of their own homes. The city was wide and large, but the people within it were few, and no houses had been rebuilt. Then my God put it into my heart to assemble the nobles and the officials and the people to be enrolled by genealogy. And I found the book of the genealogy of those who came up at the first, and I found written in it, These were the people of the province who came up out of the captivity of those exiles whom Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon had carried into exile. They returned to Jerusalem and Judah, each to his town. They came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Azariah, Rehemiah, Nehemani, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispirith, Bigvi, Nehem, Baana. The number of the men of the people of Israel, the sons of Parash, 2,172. The sons of Shephatiah, 372. The sons of Era, 652. The sons of Paeth Moab, namely the sons of Jeshua and Joab, 2,818. The sons of Elam, 1,254. The sons of Zatu, 845. The sons of Zakai, 760. The sons of Binui, 648. The sons of Bebai, 628. The sons of Asgad, 2,322. The sons of Adonikam, 667. The sons of Bigvi, 2,067. The sons of Aden, 655. The sons of Ater, namely of Hezekiah, 98. The sons of Hashem, 328. The sons of Bezai, 324. The sons of Hereth, 112. The sons of Gibeon, 95. The men of Bethlehem and Natophah, 188. The men of Anathoth, 128. The men of Beth Asmaveth, 42. The men of Kiriath Jerim, Kephira, and Beeroth, 743. The men of Ramah and Geba, 621. The men of Michmas, 122, the men of Bethel and Ai, 123, the men of the other Nebo, 52, the sons of the other Elam, 1,254, the sons of Haram, 320, the sons of Jericho, 345, the sons of Lod, Hated, and Ono, 721, the sons of Sinea, 3,930, the priests, the sons of Judea, namely the house of Jeshua, 973, the sons of Immer, 1,052, the sons of Pasher, 1,247, the sons of Haram, 1,017, the Levites, the sons of Jeshua, namely of Cadmiel of the sons of Hodava. 74. The singers, the sons of Asaph, 
148. The gatekeepers, the sons of Shalem, the sons of Atar, the sons of Talman, the sons of Akab, the sons of Hatita, the sons of Shobai, 138. The temple servants, the sons of Ziha, the sons of Hasufa, the sons of Tebaoth, the sons of Kiros, the sons of Saya, the sons of Padan, the sons of Labana, the sons of Hagaba, the sons of Shalmai, the sons of Hanan, the sons of Giddel, the sons of Gehar, the sons of Rieya, the sons of Reason, the sons of Nakoda, the sons of Gazim, the sons of Uzza, the sons of Pasea, the sons of Besai, the sons of Meunim, the sons of Nephushasim, the sons of Bakbuk, the sons of Hekufa, the sons of Harhur, the sons of Basileth, the sons of Mahida, the sons of Harsha, the sons of Barkos, the sons of Sisera, the sons of Tima, the sons of Neziah, the sons of Hatipha, the sons of Solomon's servants, the sons of Sotai, the sons of Sophereth, the sons of Parida, the sons of Jaela, the sons of Darkon, the sons of Giddel, the sons of Shephatiah, the sons of Hattel, the sons of Pokerith Hazabaim, the sons of Ammon. All the temple servants and the sons of Solomon's servants were 392. The following were those who came up from Telmila, Telharsha, Carib, Adon, and Immer. But they could not prove their fathers' houses nor their descent, whether they belonged to Israel. The sons of Deleah, the sons of Tobiah, the sons of Nakoda, 642. Also, of the priests, the sons of Hobeah, the sons of Hakaz, the sons of Barzillai, who had taken a wife of the daughters of Barzillai the Gileadite, and was called by their name. These sought their registration among those enrolled in the genealogies, but it was not found there, so they were excluded from the priesthood as unclean. The governor told them that they were not to partake of the most holy food until a priest with Urim and Thummim should arise. The whole assembly together was 42,360, besides their male and female servants, of whom there were 7,337. And they had 245 singers, male and female. Their horses were 736, their mules 245, their camels 435, and their donkeys 6,720. Now some of the heads of fathers' houses gave to the work. The governor gave to the treasury 1,000 derricks of gold, 50 basins, 30 priests' garments, and 500 minas of silver. And some of the heads of fathers' houses gave into the treasury of the work 20,000 derricks of gold and 2,200 minas of silver. And what the rest of the people gave was 20,000 derricks of gold, 2,000 minas of silver, and 67 priests' garments. So the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, some of the people, the temple servants, and all Israel lived in their towns. And when the seventh month had come, the people of Israel were in their towns. Hey there, my friends. My name is Kelvin Augusta again. Thank you for checking out this episode of One Minute Bible Study. Here, the goal is to really share some word of encouragement, share the scriptures, um, share something from the Bible to inspire us to live godly lives, to get closer to Christ, and um, to connect with God. So again, if you have any questions, issues, quarrels, comments, uh, recommendations, or you just want to reach out, um, I'm going to put my links to Facebook, my personal profile. I will look forward to connecting with you, um, to help and encourage one another, and to share in any way that we can be a blessing to one another. So again, feel free to connect with me below. Thank you again for checking out this episode of One Minute Bible Study, where we've shared scripture, we've shared encouragement, um, and I look forward to connecting with you. May God continue to bless you. Bye for now.